फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च गैप्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रिसर्च गैप्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल सो विद दिस यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट रिसर्च गैप्स एज वेल एज यू विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द रिसर्च गैप्स फॉर योर एग्जिस्टिंग रिसर्च राइट because whenever you start any research the very first thing is to find out the gap that means if there exist any deficiency or if there is any field that has not yet been explored you can find that gap and further proceed for your research so let's begin with firstly let's understand what is the meaning of the research gap it is generally the unanswered questions right unanswered questions or we can say that unsolved problems within the research supposedly if i am studying say if i am studying on financial literacy right so if i study this topic and if i choose this topic i'm going to see which all area still are unanswered or unsolved that means still which areas can be explored in further studies so this is the meaning of the research gap a research gap exists when there is a concept or new idea that hasn't been studied at all that means you try to bring out some novelty right you try to bring out some novelty or try to answer certain questions right okay so in this video we are going to learn about different types of research gaps that is evidence gap then we have knowledge gap conceptual gap empirical gap methodological gap theoretical gap and practical gap we are going to study these all one by one with the help of the example right type of gap is evidence gap this is also known as contradictory evidence gap now what happens is when the findings of the study contradicts okay if supposedly we have two to three studies and the findings of all these studies contradict each other that means we have the evidence gap right so what this says is evidence gap arises when the study data allow for conclusion in and for themselves but are contradictory when considered from a more abstract perspective now over here example could be supposedly there is one study okay that says there is a relationship between financial literacy okay and financial access another study says that there is no relationship between financial literacy and financial excess now over here what is there there is a contradiction in the findings of the study one study is saying there is a relationship and another study is saying that there is no relation right so in such cases you can explore further about the evidence and you can further explore in your research right so what all can be criteria for seeing the evidence gap when can be there is lack of studies okay there are only few studies conducted in the area then it could be changing circumstances say technology has changed another one could be outdated information is there right the data was collected say few years ago and now the circumstances the environment has changed then you have certain unanswered questions how come say for again i'm taking an example of financial literacy over here i have taken certain aspects right certain sub variables we have taken you can change these sub variables and try to explore something more right 
next type of gap is empirical gap over here what happens is that you try to explore something that is missing or is undiscovered component okay so this is the empirical gap that you try to explore something new now example of this type of gap is that supposedly uh, government say government of india has introduced few schemes few new schemes they have introduced right so if you check the impact of such schemes impact of such schemes on the stakeholders this will be the empirical gap i hope you've understood till here next type of research gap is the knowledge gap this is also known as the void gap so what happens is when there is lack of desired research results okay so then we can go for the knowledge gap there is lack of understanding or knowledge in certain field say earlier we did not have any knowledge about covid 19 isn't it so this can be explored as an on technology keeps on changing or something new keeps on coming so we can say that actual field lacks understanding of the theories and literature from the related research field i hope this is clear to you guys if not then you can comment in the comment section i will surely reply to you next type of gap is the conceptual gap so this gap occurs when there is inconsistency and ambiguity in the concepts definition or interpretation or the application resulting in confusion and misunderstanding so basically what happens is there is lack of consistency in say concepts or you can say theories or applications right so over here what you can do is the conceptual gap can be you can combine or study two or more concepts to further define something right so what you can do is this is an example so you can study more about say two or more concepts and then further give your own definition so this is the conceptual gap next type of gap that is very interesting is methodological gap so over here what you try to do is try to explore new methods right methods could be say earlier the studies were done on the basis of qualitative data now you can compare it with quantitative data you can change the methodology okay first thing then another thing is that interpretation can be done using different statistical tools you can try to explore new tools this is also the methodological gap another thing could be you can change the sample size or say you can ch change the geographical area right so methodological gap is the widest kind of gap that you can use in any of your research okay so next type of research gap is a theoretical gap so these types of gaps can be identifying through literature review you study number of studies and then you try to explore whatever the theory lacks right whether there is inconsistency limitations or any other type of research gap right last gap for today is the practical gap this is also known as practical knowledge gap or knowledge action knowledge conflict gap 
so these types of gaps arises when there is a discrepancy between theory and the practice so example could be say any workshop is being organized by rbi or any other scheduled bank okay so what is the impact of such workshop on people so when you check this this is known as the practical gap when you try to explore the practical implications this is known as the practical gap we have studied different types of research gaps the last topic is that how do you identify it okay so whenever you read any of the research papers or manuscript please do note down its limitations limitations are nothing but your research gap so in your manuscripts or research papers words such as has or have not been if they are used that means it is a research gap further the limitation might be it uh, the study is required or needed further or the key question that remains unanswered or say we can say that it is important to address certain questions right so that is it for today guys i hope you have learned something if yes then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day